Hello, welcome back. Uh, my guest in this segment is Emily Heiser, a third year UVic student studying political science and environmental studies, and she's volunteering for the Green Party. So we're going to be talking a little bit about the election and, uh, and you. So what are the issues that uh, you and your friends are interested in in this election? Definitely on the forefront of my conversations and my interactions with other people is the climate crisis. It's something that's affecting everybody and it's, it's very concerning to see, not, to see it not be very common. Um, another one is cost of living. Tuition fees are so, so high and so many people are graduating school with so much debt that follows them for a really, really long time. and so having free tuition in combination with a guaranteed livable income is such a powerful tool to let people pursue what they really are interested in doing post-secondary or even going back to school, changing programs, and lets people pursue what they're really passionate about, which is amazing. Yeah, and then wait till people get a little older and have to buy a house. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. It, the whole situation is, is definitely crazy. Um, so. I mean, we all move within our own circles, but looking at young people as a demographic, whatever mm -hmm. that means, um, is there a move towards the Green Party? I think there definitely is, um, especially on campus, and we're seeing the, the incredible turnout with the climate strikes and just social activism in general, and so much of it is focused around what the Green Party truly stands for, and I think a move for our climate is the only direction we can go and I think young people are understanding that we have so much ahead of us and we've just experienced so much being left behind that we now have to clean up and I think it'll bring people to the polls for sure. Yeah it's not an enviable situation that, uh, <laughs> that we're moving into unfortunately but on the other hand interesting times so mm -hmm. that's worth mm -hmm. something. Um, are young people talking to their parents and grandparents about how they should vote to save their lives. <laughs> I definitely see it. I think it's quite common um, in the people I interact with a lot. We've, I've had conversations with my friends' parents too. We have conversations over dinner. I'm talking to my family about it quite frequently. Um, my friends are as well, and it's really neat to see. I think it's getting definitely more common. Yeah. Well, we'll see. I hope, yeah. you know, I hope it's an interesting election. Um, are young people going to vote because young people uh, historically speaking, vote less than others. Mm -hmm. I would think young people are going to vote this time because uh, there's a lot on the line. Definitely, definitely. Um, I don't see why not, truly. I think we've seen so much in public, again, mentioning the climate strikes and how many people are truly engaged and are learning more through their course load in education or just through social media as a great tool for spreading awareness as well. And I think people are really coming together and it's a very uniting time as much as it may be upsetting and a desperate time as well with the climate crisis. But I think people will definitely bring this power to the polls with them. And there are many people who don't believe about anything about the climate crisis, but I hope everybody can see that speaking of the environment in general, we are totally destroying our planet. I mean, mm -hmm. is there anybody who doesn't think we're destroying the planet and we have to change? You know, I, I don't know. Is there anybody that doesn't think so? I definitely, definitely, with any, with any large idea, there's going to be people who don't agree with it or people yeah. who don't look into it and read the facts and read the science. And I think that's one of the main reasons why it's taken us so long to have such a big reaction and such a big outburst of support for the climate movement because there will always be people that don't hop Another on Another reason is the bad guys own the media, so that message coming through exactly, to us is always... Exactly, exactly. Um, you mentioned earlier, we were talking a little bit about soils and, uh, and crops, and you mentioned a few things that can be done to improve things in that field. Maybe you can just mention that again. Yeah, definitely. Um, the way our food system is working right now is extremely damaging to our environment. The way we consume our food, the way we are growing our food, and the way we're transporting our food. Um, if you go into the store and you're just doing your normal grocery shop, I don't think that it's crossing many people's minds how far that food has come to get to this store. And how overpackaged everything mm -hmm. is. It's unbelievable. There's such savings environmentally that we could make 
in the supermarkets just by getting yeah. rid of the packaging and going back to bulk foods. Absolutely, yeah. Bulk is a huge resource. It's fantastic for limiting packaging. Yeah. Yeah. And you mentioned um, rotation of crops, uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The way we're moving farming, away from monoculture. Yeah, monoculture farming is very, very damaging to our environment and all of our systems. We're depending on this limited space of land to continually produce this one form of fruit or vegetable or plant or whatever it may be. And of course the soil is going to deteriorate deteriorate over time when we're doing it that way and so then we'll continue to aerate it and bring up an upwell of nitrogen and you can only do that a fair amount of times and so the more we do that the more damaging it will be. In the we definitely do want to switch to more environmentally friendly agriculture. Um, local farming, supporting smaller farms, supporting organic farming is super super important because the way the way it's working right now where we have these commodity crops and there are a few large farms that are creating everything that's going into our food doesn't make sense and it's not a system that is favorable for our future and so supporting smaller smaller farms is the way to go. Emily, thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Elections coming up. <laughs> Thanks for watching this segment of Citizens Forum. <laughs>